Hi, I'm Eric Felix of Team Ironman. If you're watching this tape, then you're serious about improving your paintball skills. Good. With a few simple drills and a personal insight from the Ironman in an actual game, we will share with you some of the secrets of our continuing success. Bringing his gun up late, which is a wasted effort and it makes him a very easy target. Okay, let me show you what's up. There are times when you pop just your head up for information or to draw attention. But when I come up to shoot, my head and my gun come up together. So the instant I see my target, I shoot. Even though I'm coming up to shoot, I'm also taking in visual information continuously, working towards a setup. Here, I found a spot in the bushes behind him in which lines him up. So by aiming my gun up there first, I rise and bring the gun down the vertical line and I catch him virtually in my crosshairs. This increases your snapshot accuracy dramatically. By backing off my bunker, I'll set up several things. One is that I can fire fight here, here, and plus the center simultaneously. Up close, you have about seven feet of area to cover, and you can't possibly play it all at once. I'm playing in an area of about one and a half feet wide and about two inches above my head. I can block one, two, or three of them as I choose. And by popping up, I can draw all three of their attention at once, locking up three guns. Now, if they decide to move up, to attack or to take me down, I can slide in, taking away their new angles. This makes them readjust and buys my team time. I decide to try a new angle of attack. I peek through the window to draw his attention to my right, then swing out left, left-handed. First, I find the edge of his bunker to establish his position. I couldn't do this with the gun in my right hand because this is the best angle I can get without exposing myself. So now, when I'm ready to take my shot, I lean out a couple of inches, and slide my barrel across the horizontal line and nail him. One-on-one -on -one is the easiest yet most effective drill there is. Every aspect of the game is expressed through one-on-one. -on -one. Remember to always have an objective when you practice one-on-one. -on -one. For example, in this drill, I placed a cone between my teammate Brian and myself. The cone represents any number of objectives. A first flagpole, hanging the flag, or a takedown. The lesson here is timing of movement. So to set myself up, I get myself as close as I can to my objective, closing the gap. Cover behind a bush is as good as a bunker if you're not seen. Better in this case, because I can see when he makes his move. Once he's committed to his move, I launch, press him in his bunker, and achieve my goal. In this drill, the players here and here represent the defenders. Behind this bunker are the attackers, Brian and myself. Notice the triangle. It's called a firing triangle. This is what most attackers run into and why they're continuously defeated. Literally speaking, it's a crossfire. But conceptualizing it as a triangle enables you to recognize it and use it to your advantage. One way is to move into the point of a triangle, to a spot that's so hot it demands your opponent's attention. This is called tying up the guns. Now Brian is free to step out from his bunker and take a clean shot. Notice how he steps out to the left side to shoot the guy on his right. He's creating the widest angle possible. Moving up together, we create our own triangle at its opposing 45 degrees, putting him in a position which is very hard to recover from. By communicating, we launch together, me drawing his attention one way while Brian takes him from the other angle. Well, I want to focus the whole time. I want to s kind of split this field. We've got a little bamboo shoots here, so I think we can physically split the scene right down the middle. Dave, it's really important in this section right here. If we need the, to, to eliminate that one pocket, let's eliminate it. Right. I personally think we can push this right-hand side. You and Brian, get, we'll, we'll try pushing up there. If it co something happens and it comes down, there's plenty of places for me to come back into here. Yeah. You guys, let's, let's go look at the field a little bit and see what you, see what you think here. You know? okay, what, do you, uh, what do you want the rest of us? 
Well, I want you over here in the middle, Eric. I want Dave in the middle. I want Marty, and Shane, and Brian over on the left hand side. Do you want to work the angle on the right or just. I want you to cross them because I really want a lot of pressure on this right hand side. I really think we can blow this right hand side. Oh, I know. You'll hear me screaming. Yeah, This should be a fairly fast game. You know, it's aggressive feel. Let's play aggressive. I, okay. You guys, you know, it's the focus into the game. Okay, are we going to smack them right off the bat? And we're going to go hard, right off okay. the top. Right. We hit them hard, they're falling backwards, they're stumbling backwards, it's working backwards, right. and they Stay can't recover them. it. Stay on them. Yeah, they're do it all the time. They're not yeah. an easy team. you yeah. got to get focused. All right. Okay, it's very important, guys. So we hit the spot. When we walk this field, when we come into our spot, I want you, everybody to know what everybody in the whole entire field is doing it the whole time. Just don't know your spot. Know your buddy's spot. If it's teamwork, I want the teamwork together. Yeah. I want everybody to know what everybody else is going to do. If it takes us an hour out here, we're going to stay an hour. And this is the way it's going to be. All right, just walk it. Okay. Walking the fields is 90% yeah. of the Ironman's work. I want you to pay close attention to the process, such as finding the angles so they can create the strongest possible moves. Then they find the areas to suppress to support the moves. Also, we believe in the right man for the right job. If you're a strong crawler, you do the crawl. If your strength is cover man, then that's your job for that game. Well, off the bat, I'll probably come here.